Welcome. Today we'll be looking at my retro computer room. We'll have a quick tour, see what's in the boxes, see what's on display, and have a look at some games. Enjoy. And here is my first PC on display. It's a Mega 2000. It's got an 040 and I think 32 meg worth of RAM. Um, it's got the Indivision Mic 1, the older one. So it's on, I can use LCDs and all that on there. Um, this is the Amiga 3000. I had I grabbed this from America, and that's why there is a step up transformer to the right. The standard Amiga 3000. Uh, it does have 3.1 ROMs. Most of all my Amigas have 3.1 ROMs, although I have bought the new 3.1.4 four ROMs for the 3000, 2000 and 4000 sorry 3000, 1200 and 4000 this is my Amiga 4000 it's still a work in progress um, it's had Greek cap done it's got a 06 JVP 060 with 64 meg of RAM it's got a MK1 Indivision as well um, and I think that's it. We'll have to uh, dive into this one later to see what's inside. There are my collection of um, uh, Commodore 64 and Apple IIe floppy disks. Um, down here, we have my collection of old joysticks. Now, a lot of Amiga, but just a couple of um, uh, Mega Drive and SNES controls in there. Um, over here we have all the, pretty much all these Amiga dro uh, floppy disks. There is one or two um, trays full of Apple stuff, but that's about it. Um, that is my tricked out XP computer, although I want to revisit it and maybe do SLA and all that, but that'll be later. That is another 4000 case and some other stuff which I will show you later I do have another 4000 but I've got to recap that and that's not really ready um, this is my Apple 2GS two drives normal just normal got one it's just got the normal one meg of RAM upgrade that's about it uh, this is a double O ROM series this is my Apple IIe Platinum and it is yellow as he he heck which you can't see now but um, trust me it is um, it's got a special drive in there made in Australia that lets you, lets you use three and a half inch discs along with two five and a quarter it's got a color monitor um, get some paddles and joystick there. Yeah. This is my um, Commodore 128D. I had a mirror bank there. Yeah. With monitor, uh, just a standard Commodore 128. There is some upgrades to do to this, mainly changing some chips, but that's all there is to it here. Um, across here we have a window. Oops, sorry, I just gave you vertigo. We have a Windows 7 computer, i7, that has, that it was running um, XP Virtualize, and that was the computer I was using to transfer um, you know, disk images and all that and, uh, before I had the XP machine. These are just various monitors, LCDs, monitors here. This is my Amiga 1200 setup, and this is pretty much the one I use every day. Um, yep, I did the paint job myself, so excuse the excuse the um, paint job. It is, I believe, 10 years old, the paint job, because it was just too yellowed. And that was bef pretty much before retro writing, I think, was exist existed. It's got um, uh, ID fix. And M and, and uh, uh, ID fix uh, a hard drive uh, adapter, and it has also the Indivision Mark One, and external floppy. 
Here's the 40 gig hard drive. Uh, I've partitioned it to three, I believe. That is just a speak, just a normal speaker. Here's a DVD drive and here's a power supply. The power supply was pretty much uh, cut up ATX, uh, sorry, AT power supply that um, fed straight into the Amiga to provide it enough power. It has got a Cobra 030 inside. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, here we've got the Commodore 64. It is a work in progress. I've it had the different kinds. It had the wrong screws. So I've pretty much had to try and find screws, and I'm still looking. That's the normal. That's the normal TV I can use. There's the um, phone adapter modem for the Commodore 64, and there's a there's a 1351 Commodore mouse. Now we will look into the boxes. In this box, there is a Mega 1000 with the keyboard, various items and upgrades for the Mega 2000 and 4000. There is a couple also drives of Apple, um, but that's about it. Now, if you excuse me, this is going to be heavy. This has the bulk of all Amiga stuff. There's floppy drives, hard drives, um, uh, mouses, keyboards, um, PCI MCA cards, um, you name it, there is in there. There's also um, a couple of Mega 500s in there and other items which we'll get to look at later. This is the Commodore 64 and Commodore 128 box. This is a normal Commodore 128. Yes, definitely yellow. You're not, your eyes are not deceiving you. Um, followed by various Commodore 64s. Guess two. Commodore 64 C's, there's another old brick, bo uh, brick box, there is the parting gears, the accelerator plus drive, plus three tape gets and a whole bunch of Commodore drives. Excuse me for this. This is my console box. What's well, not displayed out in the main living room. Um, the spares and all, um, and all the old stuff that needs to be worked out here. You've got a Dreamcast. You've got a, another Mega Drive. You've got a small PlayStation 2. There's, a Sega, there's two Sega Saturns here. Oops. Come on, focus. Oh, focus. Yeah. Um, and various other consoles with some cables. Here, in this box, oh, that's also the MPS 1000 printer from Commodore. Still in the box, it still works. Up here, we have the. Um, New old stock Amiga 1200 I got from uh, Amiga Kit, and there's uh, pretty much um, new in in a box H500 with uh, a mega chip installed. And up here there's a there's also a Sega Genesis 2 CD, some various other ones, and there's the two new Amiga 1200 cases I just you know, got recently. In this area, we have an Amiga 1200 tower case, which I have yet to put Amiga 1200 in, plus various monitors used for the system. Inside this box, there is another Amiga 2000 and various other power supplies, Amiga 500 and some motherboards in here. 
Um, in this box, I have various, mostly COM64, but there is a few Amiga games in here. Um, there's Field Boss Simulator for the Amiga. There is a bonus disc pack. There's all different kinds of cassettes from different magazines. We'll be looking into this at a later time. And now, last but not least, this is the box that has all Amiga games in it. Um, there's, there's just too many games, that's another thing we'll have to look at. There's Hero Quest. There is Elite there. There is Gunship. There's Star Glider 2. Simbo's Quest. Um, I think, yes, there is the manager. Don't like it much, but at least I still, like, still got it. Um, okay, that is it for my Retro Computer Room tool. See you next time. Now, this is something I forgot to, to show. A lot, a lot of three and a half inch mega floppy disks, all double density, all mega. I still have to uh, look through them and see what works and what doesn't. Yeah, that's a daunting task in itself. Um, again, bye for now.